Okay, so it seems to be all about the money here. You've got the fish card as the focus uh, of this reading here. So this is about money coming in. But it looks like you've got some kind of expenses going on over here and maybe something's nibbling away at your finances and some ongoing financial loss happening gradually. So you need to actually go and review your finances to find out where you are actually losing money, where you're hemorrhaging money there. It's something slow, uh, some kind of process where money is uh, coming off you so you might have to uh, you know try and just review all your payments that are coming off your accounts so you've got uh, the glass of your broken glass of here so uh, there looks like there's some kind of loss uh, that happens um, you know something that um, you need to watch out for so there could be some kind of theft going on uh, so and you've got the mice of here and the theft card of here so there's something that is coming off your account or your your finances that is eating away at your money uh, that you need to actually stop almost immediately because it's something that shouldn't really be going out. So go and have a, a review of your finances. Now, in the past, you've got the cat over here. You've been dealing with people that are very flattering. Maybe they, they you know, um, try to make you feel um, really, you know, as though you're wonderful, but really uh, they have other intentions or there's hidden agendas that are at work over here. Now, you've been having a lot of problems there with uh, difficult people, a lot of arguments, fights, strife uh, going on um, around you. And it's been maybe, you know, the whip and the broom is about continuous perpetual movement going on, you know, um, something that's always happening. Uh, so maybe somebody's having a go at you all the time, giving you grief all the time, and you're having to deal with that person, um, you know, ongoing um, trauma that they're causing to you. Now, going into the future, you've got the handshake card over here. So this looks like there might be uh, meetings, so some business meetings coming up for you soon, and you will be making new uh, business, business contacts or meeting new people. And there's also some good news coming in for you. So you've got a letter over here that brings in some good news or a change of fortune. So something coming in, you know, this card usually talks about a good change in fortune. You've got the king of diamonds over here, so maybe some money coming in as well. Um, so the... The handshake card is the king of hearts, meeting somebody that you are very compatible with, uh, somebody who may even give you an offer as well, um, maybe a contract uh, and some good news coming in about money. So just go and have a, a peek through your, your finances. Uh, there's some kind of loss that is going on over here uh, that you're not seeing. Uh, and this is causing this gradual hemorrhage of uh, finances from your account or money. And it is definitely with money. Now, whatever this new job or new meeting is going to be, it's going to be bringing in new money because you've got the fish next to it. So it is definitely some kind of business uh, deal or some kind of collaboration that is going to bring in a lot of wealth and money. And this, uh, uh, the card of the letter shows there's a change of fortune. So the money is coming in. So, um, you know, uh, don't stress too much about it. It will come your way. So I'm going to use the Celtic Dragon Tarot for the main read. So bottom of the deck, you've got the two of wands over here. So having to make a decision or trying to make a decision about what to do next. So you may have had uh, two proposals come in or two projects come in for your attention, vying for your attention. And you're at a crossroads in your life trying to make a decision about what to do next, where to focus your energies or to focus your um, uh, intentions on. So you are pretty much, uh, you know, um, in that decision mode right now, trying to decide. You're weighing your options. So choice coming in. There might be some pressure to make that decision pretty quickly. So you are stressing out about that as well. So you've got the hanged man over here. So that you can see he's stuck between a rock and a hard place, really. You are in between things at the moment. So maybe this uh, new, uh, maybe you've applied for jobs and there are new two new jobs coming your way. You have been, uh, everything has been at a standstill. You are but stuck at the moment. And maybe these two opportunities have now presented themselves and are forcing you to make a decision. You have just come from, uh, or you're going through a period of quite a lot of difficulties. Maybe you're carrying a lot of financial responsibilities and burdens at the moment, right? Right now, uh, maybe even if you're working, whatever you're doing, you're working very, very hard, not getting um, paid very well for it. And there's a lot of pressure coming in from the top over here. And you are feeling very stuck. You can see, you know, there's dragons on either side over here of this man. So, you know, you are being pressurized quite a bit. 
and you are being laden with a lot of responsibilities, having to, um, you know, um, really struggle. You're really struggling at this particular moment. And maybe you don't feel like you're being appreciated or that you're being supported as, as well in this particular position. So what's going on in the past? You've had the Ace of Wands. So you did start some brand new project. It looks like it may have been successful, a uh, successful um, completion to that particular project. Uh, but it definitely stirred up a lot of problems with people around you. So there's been a lot of competition that you've been dealing with in this work situation. And, you know, people have been using, um, you know, um, not so honest means to get their way. So there's been stiff competition. You've had to fight for your position and, you know, you've had to, um, you know, try and use all the weapons at your disposal in order to win this particular battle. And these people that you're working with are almost blocking your progress. So they're even blocking the door. Um, so you want to move forward, but you've got, you're, you're dealing with um, uh, people that are really uh, vindictive, nasty, deceptive. Uh, you know, they, they looks like they, they, they are not scared to use uh, verbal means or verbal abuse to get their way around. And this is all in the name of the game of uh, competition and uh, um, trying to win, um, you know, above all the odds. So it's been quite dramatic, uh, quite a lot of um, uh, things going on. Uh, you know, you're facing uh, difficult situations almost every day. Now, you've got the Page of Cups over here. It looks like you're hoping for some kind of offer to come in, uh, some kind of, uh, maybe you even want to start uh, back um, along the route of study or get more inf um, knowledge. So maybe you want to go down the um, uh, that um, path of um, going back to, to uh, learn some new skills and you're hoping for some kind of offer to come in. Now, this could also be that somebody around you has been offering you some kind of advice or some kind of support as well, somebody who has been helping you out in this difficult circumstance, maybe a good friend or somebody that you're working with. So going to the future, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, and this is your card. It looks like you will get what you want. Uh, you know, if you are vying for some kind of position, and maybe this is why you're facing all this competition, uh, you will get that position of management. That is definitely coming your way. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you're going to be either somebody who uh, trains people or you're going to have to study further in order for you to achieve this but you'll definitely be dealing with a lot of knowledge and a lot of information but you will be in a position where you're very much in charge uh, you know a very uh, a management position so you can sit back and relax and give the orders really um, it looks like you're going to achieve that goal of being in you know at the top um, and also you can be somebody who's a mentor uh, you know somebody who gives out information or somebody who um, you know who is going for further in um, study as well so you are specializing maybe uh, but you're also being a, a teacher as well and this is a woman who is focused on her money but she's also a person who is uh, manifesting a lot of money and she's very organized and this is exactly what you are uh, very organized she has got a, a good financial control over there. So you might be working with something where you handle a lot of money as well. Now you've got the Four of Swords over here. It, you know, it, it looks like it might be time for you to take a little bit of a break. Uh, you have been very stressed out. You're very worn out. You've been can see this one's almost been carrying all these rocks over here so very very tired of all these responsibilities and it is time for you to take a little bit of a break maybe get a little bit of a holiday as well now you've got the six of swords over here this is walking away from a very very difficult situation and walking towards your goal so you have your goal firmly in place and it looks like you know it's a very stable kind of situation and you're leaving behind all this problems so once you get this position of the queen of pentacles uh, that position of leadership it looks like all those problems and things that you were dealing with now come to an end and you're going to get some kind of stability coming in you know maybe you even have enough uh, or uh, you know sufficient money to buy yourself a really nice big home uh, and uh, you know achieve those goals that you wanted to uh, maybe you even get to, to travel as well um, after uh, reaching this position. So there is some kind of promotion coming up over there. And you will be working with a lot of people from foreign countries. You've got the three of wands of here collaborating on an international basis as well. Uh, you know, either traveling or meeting people or even them coming to you. But there's definitely some kind of, uh, it definitely is opening up um, or uh, widening or broadening your horizon, this new job that you're going for. So going into the future, you've got the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, you know, watch out for this, these two cards. Let's work with these two. So the Page of Swords is about some information that is supposed to come to you, and for some reason the other doesn't get 
to reach you because you can see the scrolls burning down over here and you know the page of swords is a very sneaky nasty little person uh who goes behind your back carries tails so you could be dealing with that kind of energy but also there could be some information that is a bit um that, that's not very pleasant that is coming to you uh and uh you know the page of swords generally brings information that's not very pleasant but also there could be some information that you're supposed to get that you are waiting on uh, maybe something legal that doesn't get to you gets lost in the mail uh, gets posted in somebody else's post box uh, so you are going to be you know there's some kind of information that you're missing for so if there's some uh, something that you're waiting for you should chase it up uh, uh, rather than sitting and waiting for it to come because it might never ever get to you now you've got the queen of swords over here so this is once you get this piece of information it's going to give you the power in your hand so this is a very important piece of information that you need in order for you to move forward and uh, in order for you to make progress, in order for you to, um, you know, win this battle that you're fighting really or win against all your competitors, you need this piece of information and you have to get it because, you know, it could be lost for some reason or the other or it could be, uh, you know, uh, somebody could be tripping you up or somebody could be, you know, um, hiding that piece of information from you but you actually need it in order for you to move forward. Once you have it, you get the Eight of Wands and you're going to be able to launch your product, projects and move forward. And, you know, uh, this looks like there's a lot of travel. It looks like working with people, you know, uh, things start moving very quickly. Uh, you can take control and move quickly. But there is this piece of information that's very important and you need to go and pursue it and find out what it is. And it is a missing piece of information that you need in order for you to get control back, in order for you to make things move forward. So once you have it, uh, you know, uh, things start, uh, obstacles fall away and you'll be able to uh, to use it to progress. So there is something very important. Uh, you need to pursue that or you need to follow that up, chase that up uh, in order for you to move forward. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Fairy Tarot. And the first card is the Princess of Summer, which says a new relationship or emotional experiences, um, invitations to social events, and a compassionate uh, friend that you can share your concerns with. So there is somebody that you can uh, talk to who is very, very supportive. So you've got that princess or the page of cups, which is the same as the princess of summer. So there is somebody that you're managing to communicate with and share your problems with, and they're listening to you, and they're providing that shoulder for you to lean on as well. So, um, And this could also be some kind of social invitation coming in. Uh, you know, to a social event at work. You've got the Three of Spring over here, which is the Three of Rods, which says plan your next stages or next steps with an eye for long term and have patience. There, may, there are many good things to come and satisfaction from a, well, a job well done. So you'll be working with a lot of people on the international front over here with this Three of Wands. Uh, and you can see that's going on over here as well with the Three of Wands. So you can see that, you know, you're going to be collaborating on, a, on an international front, meeting a lot of foreign people. And maybe there might be some foreign travel as well coming in with you. Then you've got the Ego card, which says the illusion of being trapped, placing too much of importance on material items and getting caught up in fear and worry. So this is a card about being too scared to make any kind of move. And you need to get out of that uh, mentality. This is like the devil card. So all that negativity, you know, you need to get rid of it. Uh, like I said, go and take a little bit of a break. De-stress. Uh, have a new perspective of it. Be a bit more positive in your thinking. And then you will be able to uh, conquer anything. So you are going to get that position, uh, you know, of leadership. And money will come in with it. Uh, but, you know, try not to be uh, too negative about things. So uh, positive affirmations always work. They're pretty good like that. So even if, you know, you're just saying it, you start believing it and it lightens uh, your load and it brings in, it attracts in positive energy as well. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.